these are our outside conditions right now. We're in Montana. It's about 20 degrees, pretty cold. We got a fresh coat of snow out here and we are going to be transplanting some tomato plants into the greenhouse. Stay tuned if you wanna see our method of doing this so we don't have to heat this whole greenhouse and to see if we can get these tomatoes to grow. We're here today in our new greenhouse. We're gonna transplant these started tomatoes into the ground. I'll preface this video by saying we don't know what we're doing with greenhouse growing. This is new to us. We are in the end of March and we are trying to see if we can grow these in the greenhouse. We're in Montana and normally we bring our really early plants in and out of the house and we don't wanna do that this year. So right here, we're gonna do this little caterpillar dome inside the greenhouse and see if we can grow some early tomatoes without bringing them in and out of the house. We used to bring our starts in the house at night and out to the greenhouse during the day and I started doing that out here and it's probably 50 yard walk from the front door to the greenhouse door and I brought the plants out one day when it was pretty cold probably below zero I don't really recall because just lose track of how cold things are here but um, anyway ran the plants out relatively quick and got out here looked at them an hour or two later and they're all limp laying over like they died and I was like what the heck is there a draft in here or what happened you know I didn't, I didn't think it was possible for the plants to freeze that quick um and so from then on th these are the same plants the, all the leaves died they were down to just stems mm -hmm. and miraculously they all came back to life after some heavy pruning and then yeah. repotting and planting them really deep i'm actually surprised we're holding those exact same plants yeah. a handful of them did die all the way though and so we have a couple of experiments we're going to first of all see if we can get these to grow in this greenhouse in march in montana and not bring them in and out of the house and not really heat all of this greenhouse we are going to heat the little tunnel over there but that's it and then our other experiment is, is to see if these end up producing a good amount of fruit because they did get so shocked early on and completely died back pretty much all the way and then came back to life and kept growing. So we're gonna see how well these end up doing because that's one of those things about tomatoes as you hear, if they get some cold nights when they're young, it's gonna stunt them for life. So we'll see. Do you hear that? What? I never heard that. I've heard that. A lot of people watching this might wonder why we don't just do like everybody else does and heat your greenhouse and just use it to its full potential. And Maybe. I don't, yeah, we don't know <laughs> if that'll really pencil out. Like, you know, we. To the cost to heat this thing with propane in March here in Montana, it's I don't see it coming out us coming out ahead on that. I don't know yet. We're we're new to this, so we're trying to figure all that out. All right, let's get them in the ground. What we did here is we have some rebar that is curved to make a little tunnel, and then we have plastic over there that we're going to put over these when it's a pretty decent temperature in here, or maybe if it's just a cold day, but we still want them to get sun. And then next to that, kind of tucked in over there, is a blanket, essentially. It's like a tarp, thick blanket that we have doubled. And we're going to be putting that over this little tunnel at night. And we're also going to put a space heater in there. This is a space heater that we're going to be using because it has a thermostat at the top. So we're gonna put it in there and it should kick off when it is warm enough in there. And we will probably end up setting this at about, what do you think, 65? 65 at night. Yeah, probably 65 at night. And then in the daytime, we will be sure to get out here and open this up. So we are just kind of setting these where we think they make sense. And we have four varieties in here. And we are in March. So these are not really our tomatoes for the season by any means. These are our early tomatoes so that we can try to get some tomatoes to enjoy by May which is remarkably early for us to ever have homegrown tomatoes at that point in the year. But we've done it in the past, not last quite. Last year was our first year. Yeah, last year was our first year, but not quite in these methods. Last year, we just used our little eight by 12 greenhouse with five gallon buckets and moved them in and out and, and uh, heated the little greenhouse as well. It is hot in here. All right, we'll get these planted real quick and then show you the little tunnel system. So I actually just repotted these not too long ago. I'll show you, the roots are doing okay considering these died all the way back. But they, 
definitely would have had more room to grow in these pots, but we are honestly just sick of taking them in and out of the greenhouse. So we want to try this method. And we know these tomatoes will get way too big to fit under this tunnel. And we're hoping by April when that happens, we can just have this whole greenhouse heated or not really need to heat it and just take this system off completely. This is kind of just a to get us by approach. They're all planted. We did throw a couple of onion start trays in there because we don't want to haul those in and out of the house anymore either or use grow lights, so we might as well pop them in out here. Here is the plan. At night, we will get our plastic tarp and we will close it. Just like that. We might tuck it in a little bit. That space heater was under there. We'll probably move it to the middle and set it at 65 or so. And then, if it's really cold, we will also add this extra little blanket right here. It's a tarp that's been doubled up, and we'll make sure it goes all the way to the bottom. And then in the morning, first thing, we'll come and take it off. We'll see how these tomatoes grow. I'm pretty excited about it, though. Aren't you? Yeah, we've never had this opportunity before, so mm -hmm. very exciting and. Hopefully it does as well as I think it might. Now it's like time to get shorts on if we're gonna stay in here. It is hot. Yeah. We'll give you an update soon. It'll be a much easier job than hauling plants in and out every night and every morning. Pull it on, pull it off. Yep. about 75 in there that's pretty good night one in the little tunnel and they all survived they look pretty good some had a bit of transplant shock otherwise we're looking pretty good Give you guys a quick update it's been a couple weeks since we filmed in the snow there got mm -hmm. snow last night again but um all our plants are doing good under this little tarp and spending most of their time out exposed yep it's been really good a good addition to not bringing them in and out of the house all the time we are adding more and more stuff out here every day and pretty soon this whole greenhouse will just be full we finally also have a bunch of stuff started inside so gardening season is right around the corner Thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos of what we're doing around the farm, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.